In this one, we are going to set up a domain on our local computer that points to our local host that is this right here so we can test some more things with that domain. Um, that is, I'm going to do tirr.co and I'll actually make that being testable from our local computer. Right now, of course, it's not. So let's go ahead and change that. We can type anywhere in the terminal window sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. And this is where we're going to actually write in our local hosts or actually a some domain that's going to override what's there. So if I type out 127.0.0.1 and then the domain I want to test, which I did tier, tier, we'll call it tier, um, and 127.0.0.1, I will also test www.tur.com and 127.0.0.1, and I'll do blog.tur.com. And we'll close it out and save it. And now I can do tur.com, and it takes me back there, right? And I can also do www.tur.com. Um, really cool, because this allows me to test the actual domain itself. So inside of our settings file, we can come in here, and right now we only have allowed hosts. So what if I just did www.tur.com, save that, came back, refreshed, and then I went in here and did tur.com. Still working, and that's because we have debug on. So we say false, refresh, it says bad requests, right? If I do www. now it gives me not found as we can expect. So that allows me to actually test these hosts so as if when we actually go live, I'm gonna have www.cur.co and as well as cur.co. Those are gonna be the actual live ones. So when we're testing locally, we can actually change this to being, you know, the two different cur one or tur ones, <laughs> tur, cur, you know. We're gonna change those um, just so we can actually test these hosts as they come through. Now, one of the things that I see right off the bat is how I have WW and also without WW. So I wanna make sure that every like wildcard domain, this right here, actually redirects to this right here or vice versa. I'm gonna have it with the WW redirect because of just how our domain names, how we're gonna want them to work. And that's gonna be true when we go live as well. Um, but this redirect is gonna take some stuff. So we actually have to learn about how to work with our subdomains, which is something that Django doesn't have built in. So in the next one, we'll actually talk about that. But I did want to show you how to actually write and test your own local domain so you can see what it's going to look like on a live server. Notice we still have to put that port there. If I don't put the port, it just cannot be reached, right? So I definitely still have to put that port. And the reason I'm just going off of my shortcode is because I want to show that error actually come through. Now, of course, if debug was on true, um, it's still going to come through, but it's going to show us that yellow standard 404 page. That's that's one of those big things that Django has. And of course, it's saying don't run debug turned on in production. So having our local hosts or uh, uh, the ability to do this specifically will make it really nice and easy for us down the line when it comes to actually going live. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.